So we're making a little video today on the replacement of our tankless hot water heater. Um, hope you like this. You know, it, uh, believe me, it's kind of a simple process, but um, hope you enjoy it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Here's my uh, tankless hot water heater. It's a uh, it's a Bosch power saver. It's about 15 years old, and it's flaky. Uh, sometimes there's a a little light. I don't know if you can see it right here. It's supposed to, when you when you run the hot water that lights up red. And periodically we don't get any hot water and it flashes so the the unit is uh, being replaced with a new one we'll uh, we'll go through the process here of uh, how it's done it's electric it's uh, 17 uh, kW uh, basically inside there's only three parts uh, there's two heat pots and uh, a control board and that's about it okay that was Home Depot and their mechanical person Delta mechanical and uh, they do not want me to record a YouTube video okay so here's what's gonna happen they're gonna disconnect these pipes and these are not according to uh, local code. Uh, so they're going to replace the piping and make it uh, correct to local code. Uh, then what he's going to do, if you look, there are one, two, three, four, four screws holding this to the wall. Uh, he's going to back off this, this ring for power right here. He's going to disconnect the wires and disconnect the plumbing and take this off the wall and then he's going to put the new one up here basically he'll take the cover off he'll put one two three four screws the new one is a little taller uh, but uh, that's all right he will reconnect the power and reconnect the uh, the lines i mean if you take a look there is a combination here of some plastic there's copper uh, <laughs> There's copper here, and then it goes to to uh, um, hard pipe. And, I mean, there's there's this isn't whoever did this. This was done in 2010, probably by the the previous owner of the house, so it's not done correctly. The power is done correctly, so he will take this out, throw it in the trash, and uh, oh, happy day! Put a new ream unit in it's 17 kw does the same flow everything there's several things you look at uh one is how much power it requires in my case i've got the wiring and breakers for a 17 kw unit um that's 17,000 watts i don't know over what the period of time is but it basically requires uh, 80 amps of service, 240 amp breakers. Um, uh, if you get a bigger one, that'll require 260 amp breakers. You know, and these are these are electric. Everything's electric. This is a whole electric house in Florida here. But um, it isn't it isn't rocket science to sit and do this. Uh, you know, there's only four wires. You know. A black and a white, a black and a white, and then the ground wires right here. So, you know. But anyway, uh, there's it, around here in in Charlotte County, uh, there uh, the city is uh, insistent on uh, permits and inspections of all of this. Uh, so, you know, if you can, uh, you know, I try to 
go with what the city does. Uh, you know, some people would close the garage door and just sit and do it. But uh, in this case, um, I, uh, I'm i going to have uh, uh, the Home Depot and Delta Mechanical sit and, and swap the unit out. Uh, like I say, he's off right now getting all new piping that he needs to connect this uh, correctly according to code. So that's where we're at. And what I'll do is I'll bring you back after he reconnects the new unit. And like I say, not much to show. New pipes and a new box. And uh, hopefully I'll have uh, hot water. You know, I'm assuming the new one will have some additional bells and, and whistles. This one, the only thing that makes sure that it's working is this little light right here. And it only does two things. When you turn the water on and these two flow detectors right here detect water flowing, uh, it lights this light on. If it fails, this light flashes and you get cold water. It's rather straightforward. Uh, you can read the book, but the book doesn't tell you much. This is basically, you know, it works or it doesn't. The things I've had wrong is this light flashes and I turn the breakers off, turn the breakers on, and next time this was all right, but I'm, I'm noticing, I'm, I think the, the pots are leaking here. I've also had a problem before with this breaker. I believe these are over temp sensors and it had to be reset. Also down here is a pot, if you look in the bottom here, and that sets the temperature between 95 and 135 degrees. Now, uh, new one does the same thing. So we'll see what happens. Okay, I'll bring it back when the unit is in, in the new units installed and uh, just let you know what he's doing. Now, here's the uh, new unit, the, the ream. It's got the same things. Uh, power comes in on the lower right. Above that is the control electronics. Next to it are um, two uh, tubes uh, that have the uh, heaters in them, and then the pipe goes out. It's uh, a pretty simple unit, in t you know, inside. And uh, there is an adjustment knob for temperature, and this one has a digital indicator. Okay, here is the new tankless hot water heater as installed a couple of things it's got a knob here where you can set the water temperature i've got it at 125 degrees fahrenheit also that display provides error codes uh, you see the power is hooked up there's two valves interesting thing uh, these have caps here i don't know if you see this uh, this is where you can take the caps off, you close the valves, you take off the caps, and you can uh, run basically a, an acid bath through this to take scale out. Other thing, like any hot water heater, uh, here we've got a overpressure. Uh, that's if you get uh, too much pressure from the, the city or this thing over temps. And of course, this pipe goes all the way down so that you'll have a puddle on the floor. Uh, other thing are two new valves here with, of course, the required tickets. Uh, these, I thought it was interesting when he put the valves on here. Take these off. When he put the, let me show you a different view. Uh, these, he basically cleared, uh, cleaned the copper connection, and these actually press on. Uh, the, you know, basically uh, no, no sweating of this, and then uh, same thing with the uh, plastic connection. So both of these valves just push on to the pipe, and you, you push in the fittings, uh, this turns off the water heater to the house. Uh, and of course, these are for the back flush uh, feature. Uh, that's all there is to it. So, 
I, uh, there we have one brand new Rheem uh, tankless hot water heater. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.